Zodiac is one of the most recognizable brands when it comes to inflatable boats. Their original design dates back to the 1930s, but became renowned when used by Jacques Cousteau to explore dive sites in the 1950s. Today, we're going to take a look at the latest Pro 7 from Zodiac, a new 22-foot rigid hull inflatable. With a self-bailing deck and 22.5-inch Hypalon tubes, the Pro 7's inshore maximum load capacity is over 4,300 pounds. Combined with a 24-degree deep-V fiberglass hull, this is one very capable boat. Standard features include a fiberglass bow step with anchor roller, heavy-duty mooring bollard, anchor locker, two sub-deck lockers, double grab lines on the inside and outside of the tubes, and a stern reboarding ladder. The 52-gallon fuel tank is integrated into the floor to keep the center of gravity as low as possible. Our test boat was equipped for recreational exploring and a bit of fishing. The wider HXLS console with a forward seat provides additional dry storage and easy access to instrument wiring. The bolstered leaning post is quite comfortable and has adequate storage below the seat cushions. The T-top is all new and can be unbolted from the console should you want to secure larger items inside. The rear bench seat and roll bar are optional, as is the LED cockpit light. Anywhere you find a multi-fix mount, you can safely secure a number of accessories such as rod, bait, tool, and even cup holders to suit your needs. Zodiac's Pro 7 is designed to be a little more modular than the open boat. So this boat can be rigged in a number of different ways. This console, for example, is bolted down. So there's several different consoles that are available. You don't have to go with the top and you can option with different seats. That means this is probably the most flexible layout from Zodiac in this size of boat. Now, because the pro boats can be configured in any layout you want, you get to decide how you want to build the boat. So if you're doing a lot of diving and want more open space, you don't need the console at all. With plenty of sun and about 15 knots of wind on Biscayne Bay, conditions were perfect to explore the capability of the Pro 7. The smooth Yamaha F200 has plenty of power to pull a skier or a wakeboarder. Time to plane was under four seconds with virtually zero bow rise. But if you need more juice, the maximum rating for the Pro 7 is 250 horsepower. One of the great things about these Zodiacs is the hull. These fiberglass hulls they have a very deep dead rise on them, so when you go offshore, you can really count on them to perform in big conditions. The secondary benefit of that is the ride comfort. This hull slices through the waves with zero pounding. There is a fair bit of lean in the turns, but that helps isolate you from the cornering forces. The added buoyancy from the extra large tubes provides the kind of stability that make inflatable boats so popular with search and rescue, and why they are just fantastic for exploring. You just have to love how these boats turn. One thing I really like about these boats, I'm finding I'm sitting more than I'm standing. And I think a lot of that has to do with the design of these leaning post seats. They're really comfortable. They're in the perfect position. They're well cushioned. And these ones you can see have quite nice bolsters. Not only are these boats highly functional, but they are built to last. Durable Hypalon tubing is optional on most inflatables, but standard on the Pro 7. If in 15 or 20 years you find the tubes wearing out, you can replace them, a feature exclusive to Zodiac.